about six or seven years ago, there was a real sea change in the area of stem cell research where uh, Shinya Yamanaka in Kyoto uh, demonstrated that by putting in uh, several genes into adult cells like skin fibroblast cells or any, any adult cell in principle, uh, one could convert these cells to what he called, and the field now refers to as induced pluripotent stem cells. Induced pluripotent stem cells are essentially identical to embryonic stem cells in the sense that one can differentiate these cells into uh, essentially any of the 200 or so cell types that, mature cell types that are present in uh, the mouse or the human body. Don Fang uh, came to me once and said, well, we really should study this one dis disease called Lefromeni syndrome. And I said, what is Lefromeni syndrome? And Don Fang said, well, it's a syndrome, it's a, basically a familial cancer syndrome that uh, families with the Lefromeni condition uh, are predisposed to develop a wide range of different tumor types. Uh, many of these tumor types are normally occur in an aging population. In Lefromeni patients, these tumors occur at a much younger age. Uh, so uh, now, most commonly, Lefromeni syndrome is caused by uh, inherited mutations or alterations in the p53 tumor suppressor. So what Don Fang did was to identify uh, a family, a pedigree of five individuals, three of whom have a mutation in p53. Uh, it's a single amino acid change in the protein and two of the family members are normal in the sense that they do not carry the p53 mutation. Now two out of the three uh, patients in this family that carry the mutation uh, also had developed osteosarcoma, which is a bone cancer type. In the April 9, 2015 issue of Cell, we model Lifamani syndrome associated osteosarcoma by using patient-specific IPS cell. Basically, we get patient fibroblast from skin biopsy and reprogram patient fibroblast to IPS cell by simply transducing Yamanaka four factors into this fibroblast. These are iPS cells show ES cell morphology and express ES cell prepotency factors. In this family, two patients have osteosarcoma, and p53 mutations are common found in clinical osteosarcoma samples. These findings give us a reason to apply this iPS cell to study how p53 mutation causes osteosarcoma. We found different many syndrome of osteoblasts a type of bone forming cell have a defect on osteogenic differentiation. When we inoculate this cell into the chicken eggs and new mice, they grow in vivo and form tumors. Examine the global gene expression change in Lifamani syndrome osteoblast. We identify an imprinting gene called H19 is a decrease in Lifamani syndrome patient. By integrating the functional genomics and network analysis, we find the mutant p53 negative regular H19 expression and inhibit H19 imprinting gene network function. Given the mutant p53 is a promising the target for cancer treatment, our findings provide an alternative therapeutic strategy to treat osteosarcoma patients with a p53 mutation. He demonstrated that, in fact, uh, many of the features of the bone tumor could be recaptured or recapitulated uh, in a dish. And importantly, because P53 is involved in a broad range of human tumor types, uh, the identification of compounds or drugs that prevent uh, the development of this bone tumor osteosarcoma uh, might in principle provide insight and leads into the, develop the further development of drugs that would be effective for uh, a broad range of different tumor types that occur in the human population.